Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today I'll be talking about the use of lighting component uh, in lighting experience. So in the last episode, I talked about the use of the visual force page in the lightning uh, in, the, in the lighting framework, right? And we, uh, I had talked about the advantage uh, of using it and as well as drawbacks and the things uh, which may or may not work very well, right? Okay, now today's episode is all about the lighting aspect, right? Um, so as you can see that this the page what I have right now, I'm in the lighting experience, right? This is uh, not a classic experience because if you remember in uh, in the beginning when I started this course, I mentioned clearly that if you're dealing with uh, a Salesforce classic, uh, it's a page centric uh, architecture, right? And if you're dealing with the lighting, it's it's an app centric, right? So uh, so when you're talking about the page centering, right? Every time you press a button, right? Uh, say for instance, in Salesforce Classic, it has to hit the server and gets the response back, right? So it's a kind of an overhead. It's not really a great uh, way uh, to do things in today's time because it's not very responsive. Um, <clears throat> that's uh, kind of my topic will be uh, today because uh, the reason why you should use lighting component, right? So, for instance, right, if you're if you're after a mobile experience, right, so you can't use a Visual Force uh, interface in a very efficient way. You can't use the classic interface because um, it's not mobile ready. It's a page centric uh, technology, and page centric it's not a responsive technology, and you can't use that when you're using a mobile app, right? And a lot of out of box functionality you can do using the Lightning. Uh, component right so for instance right if you wanted to build an app right in a lighting experience you don't need a developer you can do it with a point and click I'm gonna show you how to do that it's pretty straightforward um, and um, you can also develop a lightning page right and the lighting page do not have to uh, involve any sort of a development right or in other words you don't need to hire a developer to do the stuff for you okay um, so and like I said right uh, but that being said, right, I mean, I just wanted to uh, warn you guys about one thing, right? Just because that, you know, Salesforce is moving away uh, from classic, right, and they're rolling out everything on a lighting framework doesn't uh, mean that you have to go only the lightning route. Because if you have a project in place which uses extensively visual force, there is no point you mixing and matching with the lightning things, right? So, but that being said, if you are building something new, right, then it's better to use the, you know, the, uh, the lighting component model to develop. So, for instance, uh, you can use LWC, right? But again, with the LWC, right, the thing is that there are certain things which, uh, which you can do using LWC. Uh, like, uh, for instance, right, recently I had a problem with an LWC, so I have to use Aura component because unfortunately LWC do not support that at this stage so in that case uh, you do have to use the aura component so you know you have to understand the things which LWC can do which you know LWC cannot do right so uh, the just I just mentioned just for the sake of uh, you know understanding uh, so give so that you guys understand you know when you're choosing a technology right you, know, you can't always say that, oh, just because Salesforce says that, I mean, I just wanted to use only that. No, that's not really how it works, unfortunately. Uh, you can also use uh, you, uh, in the flow, right? I mean, you can build the LWC component and you can use that uh, inside a flow, right? Pretty fancy, pretty fantastic, right? Flows are a great way to do things. A lot of things you can do using flows, right? <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> And another thing I just wanted to mention, which is a very cool feature, that's the lighting out. So if you wanted to use your lighting component elsewhere, you can use that using a lighting out, which is a fantastic uh, technology in my opinion. Um, if you wanted to embed an external application in your lighting page, you can use a canvas. That's another option, right? Okay, so now I wanted to build a lighting page, right? How do I do that? Okay, that's a pretty good, good question, right? So I logged into my um, Salesforce org, right? And this is the lighting experience. Now you must be, if you're new to Salesforce, um, then um, first of all, if you're new to Salesforce, you shouldn't be taking platform developer too, right? But let's say 
for what for the sake of argument you need to sell first right now how do you know this is a lightning experience right so if you go to uh this view profile right you have this experience see so you switch to sales classic so um if you have this option switch to Salesforce classic that means that the current interface what you have is in lightning okay so if i go to switch to Salesforce classic it looks something like this it's just yucky in my opinion that's my personal opinion um so it's not pretty good you can't really use it uh, on a mobile platform so if you wanted to go back to lighting so you can go to switch to lighting experience straight forward, right okay now you got all the tabs here you got the page here you know this looks pretty um pretty fancy and pretty you know neat looking and i think the interface is amazing um so what i'll do i'll just go to setup here let's just go into the gecko icon um and i just say uh lightning uh, app builder so you go there and you can create a page okay so let, let's create a page right so we go to new right and uh what i'll do I will do say I will just create an app page, right? You can do the app page, you can do home page, you can do record page, right? You can even do embedded service page. So there are different options you can do. So just for this, keep it simple. Uh, I'm just going to use the app page. So go to next and just say um, say a dashboard page. Uh, just say dashboard page. Um, it's going to take some time. Yeah, internet sometimes acts funny. Strange. Uh, still doing something behind the scene. I don't know for some reason uh, the org is low, so my apologies for that. Um, okay, now this is where you uh, choose the uh, interface, how it should look like. You know, you can choose the header and 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 the left sidebar. You know, something like this, and this is how it looks in a tablet. This is how it looks in a, in, a, in a mobile, right? And then you have the header and the right sidebar. You know, it's mobile experience didn't change much, but just the desktop experience, right? It changed a bit. If you look at it from here, you see it changed a little bit, right? So the, the big side moved to the, the left, uh, header in three regions. So again, the mobile experience didn't change much, but, and so one region you can choose, right? So I'll just keep it with the default one, right? So. Uh, and then you know you can add say I just wanted to add a desktop here uh, oh, sorry in dashboard <clears throat> excuse me uh, let's uh, I just want to add a tableau CRM dashboard right oh, sorry it didn't add for some reason oh yeah it add here uh, I'm just gonna add this dashboard right so and no dashboard available okay so that's fine uh, which one is it no dashboard available Oh, yeah, that's cool. All right, never mind. So I'll choose other component. <clears throat> Excuse me. Try to feed. You know, that's where you see the feed. Um, and you can also add a, a list view. Right. And so you can add a list view. So this is an object here. So you can change what you want. So, I, I mean, it's up to you. I just wanted to uh, give a list view of an account. So these are the properties. You can set it here. So you can also set the filters, right? So the reason why I'm showing you this, right? You don't have to write any code to get a page running, right? So how simple that is, right? Uh, this is the flexibility when you use a lightning framework. And you can also do, um, you know, other stuff. I mean, you can obviously develop uh, your own LWC. When you develop an LWC, uh, you know, you get... You know, options here under custom you can drag and drop so, so you know whatever you wanted to do uh but i'm just not going to do that at this stage because it's too early to even talk about that right so you build this right and let's say i just saved it okay and i've activated it it's fantastic right right i just say you know activate for all user or if you want to activate for sysadmin just for the sake of argument i say activate and you can change that icon you 
can't access until you add to the lighting experience on mobile app go to the activation dialog and click the lighting experience tab okay so we're gonna do the light activation so you're gonna go to the lighting experience so you know and now what I'm gonna do I will add to the cells add app page to the app right and so so I've added this to the sales app so this is a you know app or if you built your own app you can do that so for now I did that okay and so I'm gonna do save okay that's pretty fantastic right now I'm gonna do say okay now let's go back and let's look at the <clears throat> the sales app and I'm just gonna do sales Um, so this is the dashboard page, what I've added. Um, so you can see that. So I've created the page, right? So, uh, you know, I don't have to write a piece of a code. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to do that. Okay. Now, this is great. Now, you must be wondering, okay, now I've clicked on the sales, right? And I have service, I have marketing. What is this, right? These are lightning app. Okay. So this is something which you can create an app. So app. It's like, you know, think about like your mobile app, right? Just for us where you have different options. So for instance, you can have, uh, you build an app, uh, you have account, you have contact, and you have opportunity, right? So you want app only for a certain kind of user, where, you know, who can only use, um, you know, contact, account, and opportunity, and you control that app using a profile, right? So that's a very simple uh, analogy I just wanted to give um, so what we're gonna do uh, we will build that app right so and I'm gonna add this dashboard uh, page to it so what I'll do um, I'm just gonna go to setup and I just go to I'll look for app builder um, sorry app manager right um, so now you you see you got a new lighting app and new connected app. So connected app is used when you wanted to integrate your Salesforce with uh, you know external system. You can use connected apps. That, you know using connected apps, you can build your credentials like SS, uh, your uh, you know auth settings, and you can hand over to the external system. Or you can also use this for setting up a single sign-on, right? So I'm not going to talk about connected apps today, but I'm going to talk about new lighting app, right? Using the new lighting app, you can pretty much build your you know app, right? So that's the main interest today. Right? So go to lighting app, which is um, you can give you a um, new app. So I will say. Um, Restricted app, just I mean, I'm just gonna give you some silly name, right? I mean, you always need to give a meaningful name, and the developer, you know, just as your um, API name and description. You know, it's a very good practice to include description, right? I mean, because description will give you an idea what this app is about, so that you know, if you leave the company, for instance, right, or even if you're running your own company, right, if you sell your product to someone else, right. So, for instance, you sold your company tomorrow, and someone looking at this thing will say, what the heck this is app is all about, right? So that's one of the reasons why you should put a description. So I will say this is, um, it, it's a good practice, though. This is a um, restrict, this app only contains um, account, contact, Let's say I just wanted to add account and contact, right? Just to keep it simple. All right, just add opportunity as well. Opportunity. And you can upload an image. I don't have it, so uh, I'll just leave it as such. Um, so I'm going to do next. So navigation and form factor. You can have a console navigation. You can have a standard. I'm just going to keep the standard. Um, so you wanted to support the desktop phone or individual. 
uh, components. So I'm just going to stick with both. Um, so you can do a server setup or a simple setup. So so I'm going to do, I will leave uh, the option as such. Um, so, and if you want to add a utility item, right, which is actually going to appear at the bottom of every page, I'm not interested in that. And so what I said, I'm going to do uh, accounts. I'm just going to do contacts, right? Uh, contacts. And we're going to do um, opportunity. That's going to do. So I also talked about the dashboard page, right? Which I built. I wanted to add to it. So what I'll do, I will create this dashboard page uh, at the first option. Like when a user uh, select this app, right? The first thing they view is the dashboard page. So you can, you know, toggle uh in up and down so which is pretty flexible um <clears throat> excuse me and get next and the user select a profile so you know for now i'll just say system admin right hopefully i can see it some says admin hopefully uh and i click on finish right okay the app is done now let's see if i can see it <clears throat> excuse me and i'm just gonna say restricted app see there you go so you go to the tic-tac-toe icon and just do restrict our app. And um, so you go, the dashboard page comes first and accounts and contacts and opportunity, right? So, I mean, I do understand you must be thinking, right, why I'm talking about these things in a developer, platform developer too, right? That's right. I mean, this is a platform developer to certification, but that doesn't mean that you can't talk about this topic because, you know, if, if a developer comes to me and say, oh, Rick, I wanted to use a code to build an app, then, you know, I'll we'll say, yeah, my, that's the door. You can walk away, right? Because this is very important, right? Because one of the things I've found, you know, people who are entering the Salesforce, they think, oh, okay, I can take PD1 first without having no idea about what Salesforce is all about, without knowing admin, because that's the biggest mistake you're going to do. You have to be an admin first, then you become a developer, right? Because... If you tell me, right, there are certain things which you can do, uh, you know, there are certain things in Salesforce which you can do you, without code, right? For instance, uh, using a uh, flow, you can uh, trigger before save flow, right, which kind of replaces uh, before insert trigger. So if you have no idea about that concept, then you're probably go, going to end up writing the code, right? And there is something called uh, external services, right, using which... You don't have to write a code. You can consume an external API and using a flow, you can do this stuff, right? Now, if you are not aware of any of this stuff, right, you will say, all right, let's write a point-to-point -point integration, right? Uh, so, yeah, that's going to get messy, right? Because you have to understand the platform. So that's why I'm showing you this, right? Okay, sorry for ranting, but I just thought I just wanted to put it across anyways. Okay, so this is the, the lightning experience. Right, it's pretty nice, right? Interface looks pretty prettier. Uh, you don't have to write a code, right? I mean, I haven't written any code, right? You don't, you know, so, but if you wanted to do a visual force, it's a pain, right? I mean, I didn't like visual force, to be honest. I mean, I rather prefer to work with LWC, it's much neater. It use extensive JavaScript. I mean, I love JavaScript, right? It's a beautiful language. Um, so you can do that, right? So, yeah. So in the next episode, we're going to talk about, you know, uh, you know, app exchange, you know, packaging, you know, how it looks like in app exchange when, um, when things supports only lightning or when there's no lightning support. Right. So this is kind of important uh, just to for the sake of completeness, uh, because I just wanted to make sure that I cover everything. Uh, because if I if I tend to miss, then you're gonna guys say, "Oh, this guy didn't cover that. This guy didn't cover this." Right? I just wanted to make sure I cover every damn thing. So next uh, episode will be you know partners packaging and app exchange. Right? So that being said, I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. You guys have an amazing evening. Take care. Adios.